What up, hunty? Welcome back to it of Yao. My name is Yao, and it is a pleasure to see you all. So for this video, I will be doing a little bit of an Instagram Q and A. I told you guys to send me some questions on Instagram this morning, and so I've let it marinate for a little bit, and now I will be answering some of your questions. I'm going to try to get through as many of them as I can, but I just had a look, and it does look like a lot. By the way, if you guys aren't already on my social medias, my Twitter, my Gram, my Snapchat, make sure to check it out. I'll leave it down below and I'll probably put it on the screen somewhere here or somewhere there so you can get it popping soon. Okay, and so um, without further ado, let's get into this video. But if you're not already subscribed to the channel, make sure to subscribe so that you do not miss out. Hit the notification bell so that you are first to be notified whenever I upload a brand new video and hit that like button button as well as it helps to rank the video a little bit higher so YouTube knows what's popping to and knows that more girls need to see it okay so help your sis out and without further ado let's get into this video so while I answer your questions I will be beating my face as well I'm gonna try my best to beat my face in like a world record time for me for me like doing a face in 40 minutes would be real damn cute to get out of the door. Usually I take over an hour, so you know. But I'm not gonna do the whole shebang. Firstly, my brows are already did. I'm just gonna do a little bit of foundation, concealer, and whatever else. So let me begin while I start off with these questions. By the way, guys, I'm not gonna be saying what all of the products that I'm using is because, God, if you want a tutorial, I've got plenty of tutorials up that you can watch and learn how to snatch your face to the gods and goddesses. This video, I'm literally gonna be beating my face, but more doing talking opposed to explaining products and all of that shebang. It's time for us to connect, baby, so let's get into it. All right, cool, so we're gonna start getting into some of these questions. The first person says, would you ever consider plastic surgery? We are diving right into the deep end, sister. Um, would I ever consider plastic surgery? I don't feel as though um, I would go for anything like drastic. Like I wouldn't want to really change anything on my face. However, I do think like non-surgical things are an option possibly. I mean definitely not for the age that I am. I wouldn't consider plastic surgery. But maybe at a later date when I start to get a little bit like dusty or whatever. You know when your girl starts to dry up. She goes from being a grape to being a raisin. Then maybe I would do a little... Ooh! Message! Ooh. Oh, some messages, girl. I just might not be free tonight. Who knows? <laughs> I'm joking. Let me put this on silent. The girls are really going ham today. Do you have a sugar daddy, girl? Sugar where? I don't need any sugar, anything. I'm a self-made bitch. No, I'm joking. What I mean is that, you know, for those of the girls out there that have sugar daddies and whatnot, <laughs> I mean, do your thing or whatever, but me personally, I'm just, you know, doing my thing. What I would like to call, you know, self-sufficient, smashing wigs, sculpting edges, you know. You know the drill, baby. I hope I'm not all covering the camera with this bloody mirror of mine. It's a palette. This is what the palette looks like. I just use a mirror because I really like the mirror on it. What's your favorite dish? Um, what is my favorite dish? You know what, I really don't know. I'm not gonna lie to you. I really don't know, but I could tell you what my favorite food is and it stayed this way for years and that is anything pickled. Pickled onions, pickled gherkins, pickled, pickled anything, pickled cabbage, pickled mushrooms, anything pickled, vinegary, nice and spicy and juicy and succulent. God, it gives me what I need, and like, I've been that way since, like, as long as I can remember, like, before primary school, when I was, like, a li little you, do you know what I mean? So, some things just never change, I guess. Some things just never change. Literally, I have so much bum fluff hair just here that I, um, choose not to get rid of, and I just blend my contour into it. It kind of enhances the bearded look for me, I guess. Not that I'm doing it for that, I'm doing it because I just want to add some shading so that it matches a bit better with my neck. But um, it, while it does that, it adds to my bearded sort of look, so I'm not complaining. Okay, so the next person says, what is your favourite Nicki song? <sighs> now, if any of you guys follow me on the gram, 
you will know that Nikki is life, death, and resurrection. So to say my favorite Nikki song, that is a difficult question to answer. I'm not even gonna lie. Um, my favorite Nikki song. Do you know what? I do know what my favorite Nikki song is, and it is called Freedom. I know all the words back. To, I mean, I know all of all, nearly all the songs back to front, but. Freedom has actually given me life. I just think that like she's just got so many different anthems like she's got a song for every mood like if you want to like twerk or you want to be in your feelings or you want to feel your out or you want to you know you just want to reminisce you want to look back you want to look deep within yourself you know or you just want to you want to get a little bit jiggy with it or whatever yep I know I'm looking a little bit crazy well, I literally just put my concealer on. Wow. I took a little bit of a break from the questions. Now we're gonna get back into the teas. So the next person says, I've noticed that you wear a ring on your wedding finger. Are you married? Girl. So guys, I've actually been holding the secret from you for some time now. Um, I, I kind of didn't know how to say it, but it's actually been two years now. I've been, I've been married for two years now. <laughs> Girl, I am single, ready to me. Am I ready to mingle? I don't know, but I'm definitely single. I'm not married. I'm 22 years of age. Um, I feel as though back in the, like, back, back, back in the dizzy, being married at 22 was like a normal thing, whereas now I feel as though, for whatever reason, people are holding off until later. Maybe a lot more people want to wait until they're like set in life and like they've just got everything popping. They, you know, they're all, they're, their structure's on point. Like they're established. Do I feel like I'm established like that? No. Why am I getting married? <laughs> to who? For what? For why? For when? For how? So, no, I am not married, but I do have a little bit of a story for you girls. This is my finger, this is my marriage ring, and I do wear a ring on it, and I guess to some people it might look like a marriage ring. So, I understand that question, but basically, when I was younger, I actually bought this ring for myself, and I bought this ring for myself, years ago, when I was still in primary school. So we're talking... I don't want to do the math, but I think we're talking over 10 years ago. But when I first bought those rings, they only fitted on my thumbs. I remember wearing them on my thumbs when I was like a lot younger. And um, they wouldn't fit any of my other fingers, they were too big for them. I remember I would take off the rings and like misplace them. And then like I might find it like somewhere like two years later and it doesn't fit my thumb, it didn't fit my thumbs anymore. So then I'd move it onto, let's say, this my pointing fingers right and then I'd lose it all I remember is losing it and finding it and losing them and finding them to the point where I lost them like for a long time and then when I most recently found them like I want to say a few years ago they fit on my um these fingers I think they're index fingers right on my index fingers and um so I just decided to keep it there um because not only does it only fit that finger but you know the rings actually have value to me because I've had them for such a long time. Hey, I'm back and I did do quite a bit of my makeup. I blended up my concealer and I set my face with powder as well. And now I'm just going over my brows with a little bit of pencil because that powder kind of took my brows away. Now look, it's back, bitch. Then look how this one looks a little bit dusty. This one looks so defined. So I'm gonna bring this one back as well so it can say hi. She's saying, what's popping? She's saying, I'm here too. Two bad bitches on one face. <laughs> Who would have thought? Moving on, I'm gonna set my face while I answer the next question. Um, how do you deal with big paws? Um, I'm not gonna lie. I don't have big paws, so I don't deal with them. However, how I might deal with big paws, 
had I had them, would probably be just using a a primer that is quite pore filling. Something is telling me that Benefit does quite the professional. I've heard it's quite good from Benefit, so I'd say give that one a go. Apart from that, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not the biggest on primers, I'm not the biggest on pores, so I don't know uh, too much about that. Next question somebody said hummus thoughts. Hummus, um. It's hit and miss. It depends on what you eat it with. Restaurants I've been to and they, they give it with bread. That is not the tea. Like hummus needs to be with like a meal, not with bread. Like with bread it just it's too overpowering because the bread barely has any flavour. You put this strong hummus next to it and it's like, girl, like I didn't sign up for this. Like I feel as though with a meal it can be real popping turn and it can snatch your salt and give you exactly what you need. Somebody else asked me what's my favourite Nikki album? I don't even know, like, every album from her, for me, has given me what I needed, like, every single album, um, what's my favourite Nicki album? I really can't answer that, I'm so sorry, I just can't, like, I feel as though every album has iconic songs, like, every album I can listen from beginning to end, that's for sure. Next question! How do you pronounce your name? So this is actually a problem. There are so many people that mispronounce my name upon meeting me. They say your or ya. And I'm like, baby, girl, it's yow, bitch. No, you pronounce my name like yow. And this is what I always tell people. It's like wow, but yow. And literally, I know people from like years ago who like bump into me today and be like, hey, right, 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 nice to see you. I remember when I first met you, you said it's like wow, but yow. So wow, but yow is something I've been saying for years. And if anybody like who knows me personally, who met me like, is like, yeah, that's actually true. Let me know in the comment section, like literally, wow but yow is a whole mood and a whole movement, sister. I'm serving you skin. I feel like I'm giving you skin today. I feel as though I'm giving you naturally stuff, even though like I've caked it on, but we're looking smooth and we're looking fresh, refreshed. You know what I mean? My forehead is starting to get a few spots, like a couple of clusters, which mean that I need to exfoliate a lot more. I haven't been exfoliating as much as I should in the past week. And so I feel as though it's showing on my forehead. I don't know how well you can see it on camera, but I can definitely see it in person. So now I'm gonna add a little bit of mascara. One thing about me, guys, is you can never look at what mascara I'm using and think, oh my God, that's a good mascara, because I literally just use what my hand grabs first. Like, mascara re really isn't a big thing for me. Usually I wear lashes or I don't do anything. The amount of concentration that goes into putting mascara on, it's literally just not worth it. It's not worth it to have little flecks of hair. Like if you're one of those girls with a lot of lashes, I understand. And like, you know, do you and make those lashes look stunning and make them look snatched and long. But when you've got little itty bitty little picky things like this, God, there's not really much you can do with them. I am back and as you can see, I am ready to step out. Just gonna add a little bit of gloss. This has been my favorite gloss for a few years now love this gloss it just makes the lip look so juicy plump rich i love that look of like hey i've just had my lips like done even though i've never had them done perfect we are done data and i really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video i hope you got your life and i hope you are feeling so nice getting ready with me and answering some of your questions once again if you're not already a part of the family Hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so that you can be first to be notified whenever I upload a brand new video. Perfect, so now that I've answered your questions, it's time to bring this video to a close. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I hope you got your life and you are feeling snatched. Once again, if you're not already a part of the family, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that you can be notified whenever I upload a brand new video and you will know first. Don't forget to leave in the comment section what you want to see next. If there are any unanswered questions that you would like me to answer in a future Q&A video, make sure to leave that down below as well. Hit that like button, it helps to rank the video higher and lets YouTube know that the girls are living for the tea and that it needs to be boosted out to more people. I'm just keeping it 110% real with y'all. We need to get the stuff out there, girl. We need to grow. I'm really trying to grow on YouTube, and this is why I'm being so much more consistent than I was before. We are uploading twice a week, on a Wednesday and on a Sunday, so make sure to stay tuned 
in baby girl and it's just a pleasure to have you all here over on the gram girl we are bonded we have a family we have 166k of you guys um so over here we need to kind of bring it up as well and get that bond flowing and 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 yeah just 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 speak to me guys speak to me on snapchat speak to me anywhere and i will answer your questions and whatnot and we can just chit chat get ready and whatnot so i will see you in the next video <laughs> bye guys